What's going on guys, Dwayne here with How To Build Credit TV and I am back again. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about checking account bonuses for 2023. And not only 2023, but just in general, checking account bonuses because there are a lot of checking account bonuses that are available and a lot of people don't know about them and they don't even tap into it. Now, me, myself, I got into different types of checking account bonuses a while back and uh, after a while, I just got lazy and was tired of trying to meet the requirements. So I kind of backed off of the different checking account bonuses. But if you're strategic and if you're patient, you definitely can get some extra money for your troubles. And I think it's worth it because most of the checking account bonuses that are available are certainly going to be at least $100, $150, $200, $250, 300 400 um, Of course, I'm really more specifically talking about personal checking account sign-up offers that are available. There are a lot of great banks out there that are offering these bonuses. As a matter of fact, today I got, um, I read an article about a checking account bonus and decided to do tonight's live stream talking about that just because we are at the end of one year and about to start another year. And so of course it's always a lot easier for us to think about some of the things that we want to improve upon in the year that we're about to start. So that's what we're talking about in this particular video, checking account bonuses, sign up bonuses in regards to checking accounts. OK, but if you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV. On this channel, I talk about credit, credit cards and how to make money using credit cards. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I hope that you guys are all doing extremely well. I am doing good. It's Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Finally made it back here on a Monday to do a live stream. So <clears throat> I'm very excited about that. Um, as you guys are coming into the live stream, please feel free to hit the thumbs up in this video and support this video and this particular channel. I would really appreciate that. Uh, it is the holiday season as of the making of this video because it's December the 12th right now. Today's my brother's birthday. Uh, one of my four brothers, I have four brothers, three that are older and one that is younger. Um, and anyway, today is his birthday. So happy birthday to you, my brother. Um, anyway, like I said, as you guys are coming in, be sure to hit the thumbs up in this video. I appreciate that love and support. I hope you guys are all doing extremely well. So the first account that I want to talk about um, in regards to a checking uh, account bonus is I want to talk about Algamated Amagla. What? Let me look it up because I don't I don't remember how to say it. Um, I think it's called Algamated uh, Bank. I'm going to look it up here and share my screen with you guys. Amal. Ga, amalga, I don't remember how to say it. Amalga bank. I have to search it here on Google. But um, definitely there are banks that have check in bonuses that you guys are familiar with. Right. Like obviously there's Chase, there's Wells Fargo, there's Citibank. Uh, and of course, I'm I'm naming those because those are the bigger banks that a lot of people will know. Uh, the best thing that you can do to find these bonuses is just go to Google and Google. You can Google check in bonuses. Or if you want to be more specific, you can Google, um, you know, you can Google the name of your bank. For, for example, I'm going to just type in. Um, checking account bonuses as a search for Google real quickly here um, on the screen as I'm sharing my screen with you guys. So, of course, there's going to be different um, different things that will pop up here. So you see PNC popped up. This is an ad here at the very top of the screen because it says ad. So they're talking about a $400 bonus, a Citibank popped up. Um, what whoever this is. LoyalRoad.com. There's a welcome bonus for a loyalty checking account. Um, of course, there's Bankrate.com, which is a very, very good website. Bankrate.com is a very, very good website. You can see CNBC has a link here for different checking account bonuses. If I open this uh, just for grins, I can open that. I'm going to open Bankrate for you guys as well, uh, just for grins to kind of look at it just to show you guys how this works. OK, so I'm going to go. So you, you can just do that. You can do a Google search. Um, clearly, you can. I misspell checking. OK, so you probably want to spell checking, right? That will help. Um, but you could act, actually do like the name of a specific bank. So I could do Chase checking account bonus, 
right? And I have Chase checking account bonuses. Now, of course, the very first thing is an ad, but it is a Chase website, okay? And you don't have to click on the ad. You can click on just the direct link, which is below, where it says $200 Chase total checking account offer. Now, of course, when you click on it, it's going to bring you to their website, and it's going to tell you what you need to do in order to meet the requirements. So let's look at CNBC right here, um, and it's talking about different uh, checking account bonuses that they offer not CNBC obviously but different checking account bonuses I think this is in regards to December 2022 at the very top of the page it says best checking account bonuses of December 2022 so they talk about PNC a $300 bonus offer they talk about the Chase total checking a $200 offer Chase college checking account a $100 bonus and then of course you know they have information as to how it works exactly and this is really cool right this is how you can learn if this is for you or not um the chase one is easy that's something that i've absolutely done um it talks about basically having a minimum balance of fifteen hundred dollars in order to avoid the monthly fee um the chase one's normally simple as far as like uh, you basically just have to have direct deposit right here. talks about it real quickly. It says monthly direct deposit of 500 or more, um, and that'll get rid of the $12 fee. Uh, but that's how you actually get the $200 bonus, and they'll deposit that money into your actual checking account, which is really, really cool. Uh, the next one up is bank rates. Uh, just because it says, you know, here on Google, a uh, Google search, right? So same kind of deal. Best bank account bonuses for December 2022 highlighted at the top of the screen. And then as you can see, um, it's going to go into <clears throat> the different accounts that are, are offering um, bonuses. Now, I, I don't know what this is. This is savings account. OK, let me see. I don't know what they're talking about. Here we go. So then you have the account accounts here, right? And I'm discovering some of this along with you guys. So you see Citibank here well, it says up to 2000. Of course, don't believe it. You're going to click on it and their Citibank's going to tell you that you need to have X amount of money deposited into the account. But BMO uh, is one here. BMO Harris is giving a $350 bonus. I'm going to open that because I'm curious. Huntington National Bank. Uh, so there's a lot of different bonuses that you can get. OK, now, of course, some of these are going to be specific to where you reside. Some of them, if you're lucky, is going to be nationwide. So here's the BMO Harris up to $350 bonus. And it talks about how you can get that. So the $350 bonus here, you can earn it by opening a premier uh, account and having a total of seven thousand five hundred in certain uh, direct deposits during the first 90 days. OK, so, of course, they're talking about what qualifies right for those direct deposit, your payroll, your pension, Social Security and other government payments. That's what qualifies. So, of course, they advertise it like three hundred fifty dollar bonus. But in order to get that, you have to have seven thousand five hundred dollars. Now, the, the two hundred dollar bonus here, um, it's basically a minimum of a four thousand in direct deposit in the first 90 days. So that just simply means, you know, as far as money that you're going to get paid, that's the easiest way to to kind of know what it is. OK, so that's that one. Then there's a SoFi one here, uh, which seems like it might be a little easier to get. But my point is there are a lot of check in bonuses that are available out there. And I think I personally think that it's worth it. I think it's worth the hassle, um, especially if you're looking to start a new relationship with the bank. Um, it's definitely worth the hassle to um, you know, apply for these different accounts. Um, if you're patient, uh, you know, you can easily get the checking account bonuses um, and simply do the ones that are easy, like, for example, the five hundred dollar um, minimum. Right. And so like how it works is, you know, there's a couple where you would have to have five hundred dollars in direct deposit in one month and you might have to have a couple of months in a row in order to get you know, like I think with Chase, it had to it had to be like a thousand dollars. So it ended up being like a five hundred dollar a month, at least in direct deposit. And it had to total one thousand dollars in 90 days. So, you know, depending on how much you got paid, uh, that could be one direct deposit for some people. If you got paid weekly or every two weeks, you know, your direct deposit should be a thousand dollars, at least if you got paid uh, in every two weeks, you know, and if it uh, if it's not right then it will take you a month to complete that offer if you have to meet the min minimum of one thousand uh, dollars in direct deposit in order to get a two hundred dollar bonus but either way it's free money um now it's like 
perfect if it's a bank that you want to have a relationship with. Now, me personally, I've done different checking account bonuses and different account bonuses, period, um, just because I like free money. And, you know, I just think it's like getting something for nothing. Now, of course, you can look at it a lot of different ways. You know, you could choose to look at it as let's say it took you 30 minutes to do the application. Right. Uh, you could say, well, I'm going to make, you know, two hundred dollars for an hour's worth of work. Right. Let's say I rounded up the 30 minutes to an hour. Right. But um, how, however much, you know, time it takes for you to set up that account and whatever inconvenience it costs you to switch your direct deposit from one bank to the other, you can justify it however you want. And so for me personally, what I end up doing is I sign up for these different checking account bonuses or whatever type of account it is bonus. And I keep the account for at least six months because most of them are going to talk about six months uh, in the verbiage. Um, of course, depending on what the minimum requirement is to avoid the monthly fee, you can, you know, like with Wells Fargo, I think the minimum is five hundred dollars. So I applied for a Wells Fargo check and bonus. It was three hundred dollars. And um, in order to avoid the fee, I have to have five hundred dollars in my account. That's easy. So you let the five hundred dollars sit there. So between the five hundred dollars that's sitting there, plus the three hundred dollar um, checking account bonus that Wells Fargo gave me, you know, eight hundred dollars sits in the account for, you know, six months. You know, if you can't afford to let five hundred dollars sit in an account for six months, you know, you got to rethink your financial strategy. And if you don't have a financial strategy, you have to get one. Uh, $500 is absolutely not a lot of money. Um, and if you, you know, if you need to change that or if you want to change that, then you got to get out there and hustle. I mean, it's just 500 bucks. So um, <clears throat> the checking account bonus is not a glorified thing. Um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of people just don't want to do it because we don't want to be bothered. You know, uh, when you think about it, we have um, people that will come to your house that's selling electricity. They're not selling electricity, but they're trying to get you to switch to their electric company. And they'll they're they literally knocked on your door. You're at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might have to sign something. Yeah, you might have to do whatever on the computer. Right. But like it's not that inconvenient. And people can save a lot of money by switching to Geico. Sorry, I just had to say that because it just by switching to Geico. So, you know, anyway, free commercial, free, free, uh, whatchamacallit, free plug for Geico. Um, I do have Geico for car insurance. So, that, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, it's like super convenient. You know what I mean? And they're going to save you money. And you're like, nah, I don't want to be bothered. You know, I'd rather just continue to pay, you know, more for my electricity that I could easily pay less by going to another provider. And so I get that the the inconvenience of switching over can be a pain in the butt, just like the inconvenience of doing your direct deposit at work and asking them to, to have your direct deposit deposited into a different account. Like that's not the most fun thing to do at work, but I think it's worth it. And it's, I mean, like, when are you ever gonna make another easy $200? $300, depending on the bonus that you're getting with whatever bank that you're applying for. So I want to share with you guys um, the one that I was trying to say earlier. Um, I got it pulled up now, so I'm going to be able to pronounce it, at least fingers crossed. So it's Amalgamated Bank, Amalgamated Bank. Um, I actually don't know a lot about this company. I don't know where they're out of. None of that's important. Um, what's really important is the fact that you can receive the $250 bonus when you open a new online checking account. And this is for any and everybody. This is um, nationwide. So this is not specific to your particular state, which is really, really cool. Um, I haven't done this yet, but I'm definitely going to do it. Um, 250 bucks is nothing to sneeze at and you have quite some time to do it. You have until the end of January. So that's really, really good. So if I scroll down here, it's going to tell you about the checking account promotion and it's right here, right in front of you guys. It's spelled out. It says open a powerful interest bearing checking account and receive a $250 bonus. Uh, this online checking promotion is available to anybody who has, who has had no prior account relationship with amalgamated bank within the last nine. 90 days. Okay. And then it talks about how the promotion works. So it has it spelled out right here for you guys. It says open a new checking account, uh, a new online checking account 
between December 6, 2022 and January 31st of 2023. Fund your new online checking account with external funds. Enroll in amalgamated online banking. Make de direct deposits at a uh, of at least 500 for two consecutive months by April 30th, 2023. Cash incentive will be paid on or before June 30th of 2023 once all account requirements have been met. It also talks about the fact that you earn interest. There's no monthly maintenance fee here. I'll show you guys. So I'll highlight it a little bit. It has enhanced MasterCard debit card with perks, account protection, including zero liabilities, two domestic non all point non algamated bank ATM uh, surcharges waived per cycle. So when you use the ATM, obviously, if it's not uh, an ATM from amalgamated bank, uh, you'll be able to waive two of those uh, fees that you will normally get. And then, of course, it talks about a uh, hundred dollar minimum opening deposit, which simply means that you need to fund the account with a hundred dollars. Uh, I don't know the process yet, but normally you're going to be able to do this online by either providing your routing number and your checking account number or having them verify it with plaid or something like that. So this is a really, really simple offer. I mean, you know, the only hang up in here is that you have to sign up for their online banking, enroll in online banking. I mean, I, I feel like that just simply means that you're going to you know, basically enroll to be able to see your account online. It's not like you're you having to enroll in online bill pay. That's something totally different. So online banking for me just means that I could see my account online. I'm going to create an account with them, but that's 250 bucks. That's half of $500, which is huge for doing nothing, for being able to meet a direct deposit of $500. OK, like that's easy. All right for two consecutive months that's easy like that's super easy so like for me since i drive uber all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna jump into the uber app and change my banking information over to amalgamated bank and my uber um, paycheck will be deposited the good news is i get paid weekly with uber which i think is very very cool um, i think getting paid weekly is very very easy to manage money it's easier to manage money because you know you're going to get paid weekly and it's just easier to manage than it is to manage, you know, every two weeks, because God forbid we have to actually manage the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like you get paid on the first and the 15th or the 15th and the 30th or whatever, however it works. And of course, you know, there's always one month where you may have not one month, but one uh, part of the pay period where you're going to have, you know, uh, maybe less money. Right. For that particular pay period, because you got to pay rent. Right. And so then, of course, you know, whatever check that is, is going to eat up the majority of your check. And then you might have to use that other check to kind of supplement whatever. So you have to manage your money, you know, like you, one check, you might have, you know, an extra six hundred dollars, but you don't really have an extra six hundred dollars because you got to hold that six hundred and use it for other things that you got to pay on the other check or whatever. You get what I'm saying. So it's definitely interesting. You know, an extra two hundred and fifty dollars is two hundred and fifty dollars. In 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 addition to the two fifty, you can take that two fifty and decide to uh, be responsible, you know, uh, or you can take the two fifty and splurge and live a little. You know, if you want to do something real crazy and unlike Dwayne, which Dwayne has done a little bit of lately, but uh, and lately, like the last three years, um, you know, you can take that money and splurge, you know, you can take that money and have a nice dinner, you know, and don't have to feel insanely guilty about spending two hundred fifty dollars on a dinner for two, which I've never done, but you could do it, you know, and depending on how you want to spin that or justify that, you don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to feel like I worked so hard for my money. I don't want to spend two fifty on food. You can easily spend two fifty if it's two hundred fifty dollars that you've gotten from signing up for an online checking account or a checking account that offers some kind of bonus bonus. So there's a lot of different ways out there to um, to 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 make some easy money, you know. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, that's that's right up my alley. Like you can't you can't uh, you know, you can't tell me or convince me otherwise. That's just easy, free money. And uh, if you're not taking advantage of that, you know, because we're lazy or because we just don't want to be inconvenienced, like I get it. But, 
you really should rethink, you know, you should definitely rethink that whole thing. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to jump into the comment section here. I see we have a couple of people that have commented. Uh, thank you guys so much for smashing the thumbs up in this video. Um, I know that there hasn't been a lot of video here, but trust me when I say there has been a lot going on in my life. Um, I actually just came back from Jamaica yesterday. I was there for a week, um, December the 4th to December the 11th. Uh, de December the 4th was my grandma's birthday. She turned 97. Um, and then, um, uh, one of my, one of my uncles passed away, um, in November. Um, and, um, uh, so they had his funeral on December the 5th. So my mom turned my mom, my grandma turned 97 on December the 4th and she buried her son on December the 5th. Um, that same uncle, his birthdays in December, uh, his wedding anniversaries in December would have been 40 years. Um, so it's, it's been interesting to say the least. And then there's other stuff going on. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that, but um, that's the most recent of what's going on. And uh, it's been interesting uh, to say the least. But we had a blast in Jamaica and uh, my uncle was supposed to be in Jamaica as well, celebrating my grandma. And so that's kind of sad that obviously he's not there because he passed. And um, I wasn't able to attend his funeral. It was actually in Tennessee because uh, they've lived in Tennessee for uh, like 30 years, which is crazy because we're all from Jamaica and a lot of my family's in Canada. And then he moved to Tennessee and uh, very well known internationally. He's a he was a pastor and um, very big in Church of God in Christ. And so. Uh, they had his uh, funeral ceremony on Monday, um, which was December the 5th. And I watched it online from Jamaica. And there were a lot of people uh, in the in the ceremony as far as online. There was one point that I saw that there were 475 people watching at, at the same time. And it was uh, certainly interesting. So anyway, so that was kind of hard, um, you know, kind of dealing with that. So once again, I, I'm saying that to say that there's been quite a bit that's going on in my life and I just haven't like been able to buckle down and, and like jump on on YouTube as, as much as I have in the past. So um, if you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you guys being patient. You know, what I'm saying I, I appreciate that a lot. Um, but anyway, so despite that, uh, I'm in good spirits. Um, uh, it was incredible to see my 97 year old grandma. The last time I saw her was in 2017. Uh, she came down here to Houston. Uh, and a couple of his my dad's siblings to surprise him for his birthday. And so it's always uh, a treat to see grandma. Actually, um, uh, everybody that was in the house, we stayed in this house on the hills in Jamaica. Um, and it was my grandma's niece, who is I don't know how old she is, 60s, 70s. I don't know. Um, but like it was an incredible house. And so everybody was like saying stuff about grandma and wishing her happy birthday and and I knew I was going to get emotional before, like, you know, when I realized, like, oh, snap, like literally my aunt's going around the room and everybody's talking. So like my dad spoke and it's like, I already know my dad spoke, you know, then it's going to be like, well, which one of his kids are here? And I was the only one here out of the four kids that my dad have. So I was like, I already knew, you know, you know, it was going to be time to speak. And I was like, man, I know I'm going to be emotional because I love my family and I'm so proud to be a part of the family that I'm a part of uh, and honored and just like super proud. My family is like super incredible, at least that side of the family is. And um, so it was interesting, you know, because I got teary eyed and um, and I thought I was going to have tears running down my face, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, I didn't. I was able to kind of pull it back. Thank God. But you know, it, was, it was scary there. My uncle recorded, of course, because, you know, everybody was on their cell phones recording different people talking and recording grandma. And then, of course, grandma spoke. So um, that was incredible. Such a treat. Such a treat. And it's just always good to be in the presence of family. Um, of course, nobody's family is perfect. And, you know, you have the dysfunctional whatever. But, you know, I love everybody in my family everybody uh anyway um cool so i'm gonna jump into the comment section here we got my boy cinema madness says yeah now this is my 
type of Monday Night Live. Yeah, man. I'm uh, like I'm like I said. I'm glad I was able to jump on here and talk with you guys for a minute. And share with you guys. Uh, Cinnamon says one bonus I'm looking at is the Amex business checking for holding five thousand uh, for two months and the initial um, and initially it was a reward of thirty thousand membership reward points. Now recently it doubled to sixty thousand membership reward points. First of all, thank you for bringing that up because. Uh, you know, I could easily do that one. Send me the link on that one. Attach the link, um, you know, in the in the chat because I definitely want to check that out. As a matter of fact, let me do a search on my phone real quick. Amex business checking because I definitely uh, can take the sixty thousand MR points for having five thousand I have five thousand dollars sitting in my freaking Wells Fargo account doing nothing right now and I always feel really guilty about that because I'm always like yo my money should be working for me you know what I'm saying like um it shouldn't just be sitting in the bank doing nothing you know but I'm trying to I'm trying to be good I'm trying to sit still and I'm trying to not like um wow it says apply uh by January 3rd 2023 I see the offer right here no monthly maintenance fees. I see it here. Business checking key rewards and benefits. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this. This is easy to do. Um, all I need to do is remember to do it. And I need to do it before January 3rd. Wow, that is really neat because uh, that's like I said, for me, that's easy to Get some membership reward points. It says make eligible deposits of 5000 or more within 20 days of opening your first account and maintain the average for 60 days um, and make 10 or more qualifying transactions within the within 60 days of opening your account. What's qualifying transactions? I need to figure out what that is. Make 10 or more qualifying transactions. That's probably just like. Um, it says mobile deposits and electronic and online transactions, including ACH wire, uh, business debit card transactions and deposits using and redeeming. OK, that's easy to do. Like I could just transfer one hundred dollars, you know, um, the first 60 days, So 60 days is two months. I could do like one hundred dollars a week. Right. Uh, to meet that. Or I could do like debit card transactions. So thanks to the madness for chunking that on there. I definitely appreciate that. I definitely, you know, like I feel better now. Now I'll just put five G's over here instead of have money just sitting in my I said Wells Fargo, but it's actually my Chase account. Anytime I have money just sitting there, it's the weirdest thing to me now, you know, like, um, you know, at first it's like it's exciting. Like you have steps where like you are excited about saving money. And so then like you save, save, save and you watch your money grow and it's super exciting. And then like you get to a point where you're like, yo, I just have money sitting there, you know, uh, unless you're just super duper scary, which I was super scary and conservative at one point. So I totally get it. Um, but yeah, Cinemanis, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. I'm going to I hope that I come back to that and check that out. I definitely want to. um um, you know, get that. That's an easy bonus. Uh, appreciate you, my brother. All right, cool. Let me see here. Cinematic says the account, the account has a feature where you can cash out MR points at eight cents per point. Not bad if you ask me. Um, so what does that mean? Times eight cents. Okay, maybe I didn't do that right. Times point zero zero eight. So it's looking like four hundred and eighty bucks is what you're saying. Um, I don't know if you're saying that like cash back wise, like you can use the points and get cash instead of like using your MR points to purchase a plane ticket or you know whatever other things that you can use your MR points for. I'm always to say plane ticket because like that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Of course, you can do hotel things with it as well. I think you can book hotels with the MR points. Uh, you might even can do car rentals, but I don't know because I haven't done any of those things um, other than just that. Um, so that is pretty cool, man. I really appreciate you bringing that to my attention, my brother. All right. Let me get on to the next comment here. Chambe, what's going on, my man? Thanks for stopping by. Chambe says, good evening, Wayne. I just stopped by to say hello. Uh, you're 
you're the best as always. Thanks, man. I appreciate the kind words, my brother. Cinematic says, uh, look, guys, I'm going to be all over this stream. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, by the way, Cinemanis is a channel member. I appreciate your support, my brother. Speaking of channel member, Angela is also a channel member as well. I appreciate your support as well. She says, hey, Dwayne and Credit Family. Hey, Angela, thank you so much for stopping by. Pleasure to have you in the building. Cinemanis says, one use um, case for my M1 borrow, uh, which is is a portfolio line of credit and my borrow cash can be used on anything even though the rate is 7.25 you can take the money and deposit it in the bank 7.25 so that's a little bit higher than um robin hood right now um but when you told me about it last time in the live stream i looked it up a little bit and of course i saw that there was going to be fees and whatever right um so 7.25 is definitely um not cheap but you know it's cool to be able to access uh, money and kind of use the money to do what you want. Um, Cinemana says bonus and can and because these bonuses are easily 20% APY or greater, you can take the money out of the account and pay off the borrowed funds, pocketing the difference. These are facts. Uh, Angela says I applied for the Chase bonus and it was pretty easy. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like the bonuses are pretty easy to meet and it's like super duper convenient i think even the last time i applied for the chase account bonus um no i'm lying i was about to say i did it online no but it it wasn't online because i had issues so i had to go into the branch um and actually i didn't have issues what what happened is i decided to do the branch instead of doing online because i didn't trust it um so i don't remember if i tried to do it online and it and something happened but either way i made an appointment and i went to chase and i did it in person because i wanted to make sure sneaky 25 what is going on thank you for stopping by it says should i be offended with the seventy thousand in credit that chase started me at with five thousand with the five thousand limit <laughs> nah i mean nah you know the thing is other people's experiences won't be ours and um it's very much like life, right? It's like after high school, right? Because like most people, like we do things like you graduate middle school at a certain age and you go to high school and you're normally 14 or 15 years old as a freshman and you graduate at 18 or 17 or some people at 20, right? But after high school, it's like it's kind of different because things are different and we all kind of accomplish at different times, right? Everybody everybody doesn't graduate college in four years or four and a half or five years right and so then it you know the the gap kind of widens and we don't get houses and have kids and get married at the same time because that's not how life is so the same is true with the credit limit uh that's for sure arno what's going on my man thanks for stopping by arno says back again yes sir i am he says welcome brother absolutely man thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate seeing you in the stream my friend uh cinemanis says um Dwayne, I was watching Credit Plug and his video about ADP system services and how they make an IRS complaint tax form for taxes and they provide direct deposit services for small businesses. Um, and I was thinking about my uh, LUUSD uh, payroll sucks and switching direct deposits. But if I could send direct deposits from my ATM business to these bonuses, um, man, OK, uh, very interesting to say the least. Um, I don't know a lot about that, but of course there's too much to know a lot about. Uh, Angela says, I'm so sorry for your loss and happy belated birthday uh, to the family member. I want to visit Montego Bay, Jamaica in 2023. Um, I tell you what, I appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, we fly into Montego Bay all the time, actually. Um, we have only flown into Montego Bay. I haven't flown into Kingston since uh, sheesh. I think I probably flew into Kingston once. I don't remember when. Um, actually, it was definitely a long time ago, though. Um, I've been in Houston since 1987, and I probably flew into Kingston once. Uh, so 1987 is 35 years uh, that I've been here, um, which is going to be more next year. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, Jesus says just activated my city premiere. So pumped for the 80,000 points sign up bonus. That is incredible. I mean, 80 G's is cool. Um, I don't really know a lot about city points. Um, of course, 
you know, that you got a lot of gurus out here that'll tell you that those points aren't very valuable and blah, 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 whatever. So that's cool, man. Thank you for sharing that. And thanks for stopping by the stream, my brother. Uh, we got Tim in the house. What's going on, bro? Tim is a channel member. Appreciate you, my man. Tim says another happy ma money making Monday. Uh, what's up, D and everyone else? Yeah, man. Tim, I appreciate you. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for stopping by. And, uh, you know, I'm good. Uh, speaking of good, if you have any questions or comments, slap them into the comment section. If you haven't already smashed the thumbs up in this video, please smash the thumbs up. Um, so I actually went to a, a place for the first time uh, in Jamaica. Uh, recently, we went to this place called Port Royal, uh, which is I didn't know the history of the place. But uh, this is a place that there was a lot of pirates and bad things that happened. It's one of the wickedest places on the world uh, in the world. And there was an earthquake in 1692. Didn't know anything about this. Um, uh, and, uh, so the place was destroyed and a lot of people, you know, lost their lives, but now it's, uh, since it's a port, you know, there's ships and whatnot. And so fishing is like the main source of, uh, income for that particular place. Um, and so we went there and we had fish and it was so interesting because it's just, that's just what you do. You eat fish and you eat festival, which is like this fried dumpling type thing or you, uh, there's other things that you eat as well. Right. And so like um, they didn't tell us about the serving sizes, which is like super ridiculous. Right. So like the festival is like a long horizontal, I say horizontal. Right. But it's like like this long. Right. And it's like a fried dumpling and it's like made of flour and you fry it and it has sugar in it. So it's like flour, sugar, salt water right you mix it up and then you roll it and you fry it right so th this place was giving they gave you two fish and it was like some of the fish were very big i think it was based on weight i don't know it, the, the menu didn't specify the menu didn't tell us you were going to get two fish so like you know we have people ordering like yeah i want you know i want the fish and festival or i want the fish and rice on peas right so you get two fish and they're huge and then you get two festivals and they're small or like the rice and peas serving is small whatever the side was was small and they didn't tell us and i was just like and we were like like it took forever to figure it out because it's like okay like the fish is huge and then you bring out festival so like she brought like four festivals on the same plate right so we're thinking the four is the serving but two was the serving and they didn't specify this to us until after everybody started grabbing and eating. And then it was like, and it was like four people grab one is wait, but I ordered the festival, but you know, so I'm thinking this is one serving. All right, bring out the next one. Cause somebody else ordered, right? And it was just like, no, this is, that's the serving. The serving is two. So it was wild. Like it was like, they were so concerned about us and they were like, you know what? Y'all need to get this protein carbs together. I don't know how they knew. But they were like, nah, you're going to get, you know, mostly protein a day with a teaspoon of carbs, which is how we're supposed to be eating, especially the older that we get, you know. And so it was certainly interesting, but it was cool. It was cool to go there. And that was a new and different experience for me. Um, you know, I had a good time with my family. So uh, there's always that. Once again, if you guys have any questions or comments, slap them into the comment section. I see that we have 18 people watching right now. Only 15 thumbs up. So smash the thumbs up if you haven't already. But more importantly, if you have questions or comments, slap them into the into the chat. You know, I know this is not the most glorious and like uh, super duper, you know, like going to get clicks on YouTube topic to talk about checking account bonuses or just online bonuses in general. Um, but it's definitely a video that people should watch and should be interested in because this is an easy way to get some extra money. I mean, very easy very extra and very real money. Um, if you are a channel member, um, I will be putting up some channel member content for you guys. Um, so be sure to kind of stick around, have an eye out for that. Um, I did not make any videos actually in Jamaica. <laughs> I didn't make any videos in Jamaica, which is kind of interesting. Um, so I was there for seven days and initially I was not going to go. So my dad was talking about like him and his wife, they're going to Jamaica for a honeymoon. My dad and my stepmom. And uh, 
Uh, it turns out they they celebrated their eight years together on December the sixth, which I didn't remember. Like I, I didn't get married, so I don't I don't have to remember. Um, <clears throat> so so it was interesting. So like yeah, my dad's like yeah, we're gonna go down to Jamaica for honeymoon. I'm like all right, that's cool. That's that's cute, right? And then my um, my grand found out my grandma was going down, and I'm like okay, this is probably the last time she'll go to Jamaica because like. You know, she has to be cleared to go, you know, health wise, because Canada, you know, I mean, like they, they care about her. Like you don't just want her flying. She's 97. Right. She's doing well, super strong. And so. um, So, yeah. So I was like, once I found out grandma was going to go, it's a wrap because it was like, and like I said, the last time I saw her was 2017. And, you know, I don't know the next time I'm going to see her. So this was easy. So I had to go. So the trip in Jamaica this time was literally I like like other times i was the chauffeur Um, my dad has back problems now so he he drives but he doesn't he's not going to be driving the hours that i drove so i was every day we were on the road and i was taking him somewhere to drop something off from somebody in houston to somebody in jamaica and sometimes picking something up from that person and bringing it back to somebody in houston so out of the seven days that i was there um, maybe one day we didn't go to drop something off or pick something up. And I'm saying maybe because I felt like I did something every day. I was driving all over the place. Like this was a vacation, but it was not a vacation. Okay. Like your boy was working, you know? And, um, and so I was going ham with the food, like, like, I'm still full from last Sunday, like December the 4th Sunday. Like, I mean, I was just going nuts on the food. So uh, it was good. It's good to be back home and kind of get back um, to my norm and be able to jump into the gym and and, uh, you know, jump on my equipment. As a matter of fact, um, I didn't do any exercise. I didn't exercise for like a week. Like so like from Thursday to Thursday. Um, I didn't do anything. So I ended up doing uh, some exercise Thursday, the one that just passed. And that was my first time in Jamaica. And so because I don't have a gym or anything like that, um, when I'm down there, you know, I just, you know, I just go walking. So Thursday was like the first time that I did something and uh, which was the eighth. Um, was it the eighth? What is this? Yeah, it says it right here. So you can see my activity here on the screen says December the 8th, I did an outdoor walk from 6.41 a.m. to 9.18, and it was an 8.08 mile walk. You could see that. And of course, it has, you know, know, calories burned and, you know, average heart rate. And then it shows you like my average for each mile, which I didn't know. So that was kind of cool. So that was Thursday. And then I did another. Let me see. I did another. Um. Uh, that was Thursday, the 8th. And then Friday, I walked uh, my uncle. I was walking with my uncle 6.7 miles on Friday from 5.33 to 8.07. Um, and the reason why the time was so long, too, is because like this walk wasn't this walk wasn't flat. We were walking uphill. So look at my times here. 21 minutes. Look, I had a mile that was 26 minutes. You know what I mean? Um, but I was walking with my uncle and we were going up and down. So that was Friday. And then I did some more walking Sunday. Uh, before we got back, uh, before, uh, let's see here, Sunday, which is the 11th, which was yesterday, uh, I did this 4.73 miles here. And once again, I was walking by myself on this one. The last mile I was walking with my dad. Look at that. 32 minutes. <laughs> um, but anyway, but it was cool. You know, so like when I'm out of town, like, you know, that's what I, that's my go to when it comes to like trying to exercise. You know, I have to just walk. And uh, it's not the most glorious thing, you know, because just like sheesh, like to just walk for, you know, an hour or two hours. You know, I remember there was one time I might have been like 31. Nah, I'm tripping. Maybe 20, 29, 28. And I remember like, yo, I'm going to go jogging and I'm just going to jog for an hour. It didn't matter the distance. It just mattered that I jogged for an hour. And I remember doing that and I was running around the neighborhood and like huge neighborhood, huge. Uh, so that was, that was quite fun. 
Uh, so I'm just saying like that's interesting because, you know, of course, I'm taking forever to do these miles. Now it's just about now it's not about how quickly I do something. It's just about doing it right. Like when I was 18, it's about winning, right? Like playing basketball, playing whatever, like I want to win, you know, and 44 is now it's just like it's just about being active. Like I just want to be active um, and I wish I could play some basketball now. It's definitely weird. The last time I played basketball, I was actually with my uh, nephews uh, in October when I was seeing my mom who lives in Connecticut and uh, I was playing basketball with my nephews. But that didn't count because, you know, they were low, slow and lazy. But, you know, I was I I was still I was balling. I was like, man, I'm I'm a whip you. You know what I'm saying? Because I want you to know I'm 44. And I just kept telling them, I'm 44. Like. Like I was talking, we were talking mad noise. And it's funny because, you know, young people, they'll be like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to lose, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, you look lazy. Like, I don't I don't know. I've never seen you play, but I just the way you walk, I just you're so lazy, you know. And of course, I was right. He was lazy. I mean, he he, he tried, but like, you know, he was no match for your boy. I was like, man, don't let your 44 year old uncle beat you, you know, because you're never going to hear the end of it. Like if you win, it's cool. You're 17. You're supposed to. But if I win, it's like, man. Remember that time that your 44 year old uncle beat you in basketball? And so it's kind of funny messing with him because, like, I'm telling him, like, you're not going to really appreciate the fact that, you know, I killed you and uh, I'm 44 and you're 17. I said, you're going to only appreciate it when you're 44. And depending on the physical state that you're in at 44, you'll be like, yo, it's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I, I thought that was cool. I was just teasing him. Um, let me jump back in the chat here. Please, 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 if you have questions, throw them in. If you have comments, throw them in. If I don't see any questions or comments, your, your boy's like, I'm going to get up on out of here. Okay, I see we have 24 viewers right now. Appreciate you guys. Um, never stop 30. What's going on, girl? Thanks for stopping by. It says, good evening. Good evening to you, ma'am. It's a pleasure to have you back in the building. No, it's been a minute, so appreciate you stopping by. Um, what's going on here? Why is my screen not moving? Uh oh. I don't know. Sorry, just digging in my nose here. All right, something is. Um, my screen's kind of frozen. Give me one second here. Trying to be patient with it. I guess the internet's doing what the internet is doing. So I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, Devin, what's going on? My brother Devin is a channel member. Appreciate you, my man. Devin says, hey, Dwayne, how are you tonight? I'm doing well, sir. I hope you guys are doing well also. Uh, Tim says, yeah, that that was a no brainer for you to go. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, bro. Like when it comes to family, like it's a wrap. Like I am huge on family. And uh, I think the thing that does it for me is just knowing how far my my uh, family came from you know that's the thing when i think um man i got emotional um in my wedding which was in 2001 it's a long time ago I'm no longer married but i got emotional in 2001 because my grandma was there and some aunts and uncles were there and like um the uncle that i mentioned earlier that passed away he actually married us my ex and i and so um my uncle was a really, really incredible guy. I was telling my dad that, like, he is literally the closest person that I can say that I have to a mentor or a role model that I could reach out and touch and say that I know this person versus our mentor or role model or whatever being, you know, someone that's, you know, you can't re really reach out and touch him. Um, most of the, my dad was funny. He was like, you mean you mean your mentor after me? And I, I started laughing. Uh, because of course most parents aren't perfect and my dad falls in that category. So do I. And so, uh, so I, I thought it was funny cause I was like, man, I was like, come on, you know, the, the crazy thing is like most parents aren't their kids idol or mentor. Cause that's just not how we work. You know, we look to everyone else and, and outside of our family. But, um, anyway, uh, like I said, when it comes to family, I'm a big family guy. And so, yeah, like you said, Tim, it's definitely a no brainer. Definitely a no-brainer. Um, OK, 
okay. Not interested. Totally skipping that comment, Cinema Madness, uh, just because whatever. <laughs> uh, Devin says, I got two credit limit increases of $2,000 on my Caesars Visitor Visa and automatic. I'm really pulling nose hairs on the video right now. Automatic. Oh, man. Didn't get it. Um, uh, automatic credit limit increase of $500 on my Bank of the West card and I opened a checking account and savings account with SoFi. Dude, that's incredible, Devin. Thank you so much for sharing that information uh, and congratulations on getting those uh, credit limit increases and bonus as well with SoFi. That's good stuff. My brother, Angela says, wow, that's a lot of points. She's talking about Cinematis' uh, comment. Faoud, what's going on, my man? Faoud says, hello, what's going on, bro? Thank you for stopping by another stream. Says, how are you doing? I am doing great, my friend. It's another day. Um, one of the, one of the conversations that I had, uh, recently with my cousin, my cousin, my aunt's husband, his sister, um, we were talking about a lot of things. And one of the things that she said that I has stuck with me, um, and she said that after you open your eyes in the morning, Everything else that you decide to do for the rest of that day is based on choices. You're making choices the moment you open your eyes. And of course, your day and your life is going to reflect the choices that you make. But more specifically, the fact that she says we literally have control over a lot of things after we open our eyes. And it's it's incredible to me because, of course, we all plan on opening our eyes. And it's also incredible because when we sleep, it's not like we're absolutely aware of everything that's going on. When you sleep, you're like you're unaware. You're you're out of there. You're unconscious. And we just bank on the fact that we're going to wake up. And here's the kicker. The crazy part is. We obviously don't control if we wake up. That just that's it's incredible. We we go to sleep every single night and we don't control if we open our eyes. Now, once our eyes are open and we do wake up, we do make a lot of decisions that shape that particular day. And we all know that what happens daily shapes our weeks, our months, our years, and eventually our lives. Incredible. Incredible. Like, that's, I mean, that's absolutely true. I have no control of my eyes open tomorrow morning. But I do have control over the things that I do, how I spend my time, where I put my energy, and what I do every single day adds up. What I do weekly adds up. What I do monthly adds up. And this adds up to what my life looks like today or what my life looks like tomorrow or what my life looks like next month. I am fascinated in how the things that are so small equal a big thing or big things fascinated fascinated i don't need to focus on step 15 i need to focus on the very next step i need to focus on step one you know what i mean so uh it's definitely interesting uh, Tim says he's 44. Let's go, my brother. Let's go, man. I didn't know that all this time I'm sharing. There you go. You know, it looks so good on the screen. I'm 44. Such a nice whole some even number. So good. You know, I mean, in six months, I'll be 45. <laughs> oh, my damn. Wow. It's funny. I was in um the first stop that my dad and I make, we always stop at this gas station in Montego Bay. Same gas station every time. We go in, we get the same things. We'll get a water, we'll get some 
you know, banana chips or plantain chips. I'll get some, I'll get a chicken patty if they have the chicken patty or vegetable patty, whatever kind of patty they might have. I don't get the beef because I don't know what that is. You know, I might get this thing called rock cake, which is hard to explain. You can Google it, Jamaican rock cake, whatever. I get rock cake. And so my carb fest, carb loading starts there very first stop after the airport at the gas station and so we're in the gas station and this this girl behind the counter was like how old do you think i am she's talking to my dad right and I was like, okay it's gonna be good right like how old how old do we think she is it was, it was like she might be in her 20s like she might be 29 at the oldest and so i asked how old, well, how old do you think i am and this was really really funny there's another girl there and she was, I don't know, early 20s. I don't I didn't ask her how old she was. I don't. Did I ask her how old she was? I don't remember. But like she might have been 21, 22. And she was like, what did she say? I don't know. She said like 30 or like 20 something. But whatever she said, I was like, you're hired. What? Whatever you said, you're hired. Like, I need you to walk around and, and, and make my head big telling me that. Like, it was something ridiculous. I think she said, like, I don't know, maybe like 24, something crazy. Like, it was so funny to me. The other girl ended up being 30 years old, which, you know, uh, I thought she looked younger than that. But I was like, yo, I, you know, 24 plus another 20. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm definitely grateful. Uh, Faud says to add to that, as we age, we tend to be less physically active lack of exercise of course um yeah as we age we got to be like super deliberate about being you know in a good uh in a good place physically as far as exercise is concerned it's definitely you know easy not to be because life happens and a lot of things get in the way and it's easy to make excuses and it's easy not to do something because it's inconvenient and it just requires more sacrifice and more energy. You know, it's like trying to find or make the time in your day to exercise. Like, yikes. Who wants to get up early to exercise before work? Nobody. Who wants to exercise after work? Nobody. You know what I mean? Like, it's just super duper complicated. Um, and then you just, once again, this is another area where your decisions add up, you know, and your decisions show up, you know, with what you look like physically, you know, uh, of course, some people have issues that, you know, physically they got some chemical stuff going on or whatever. So it may be harder for them. But, you know, most of us want to be good health wise. But the thing is, it just takes so much work. The older you are, uh, Darren, what's going on, my bro? Darren says, good evening. All. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. He says motion is lotion. My last doctor um circulation is everything keep on moving soul to soul motion is lotion <laughs> um excuse me forward says i currently have two credit cards as a college student is that risky no i don't think so not at all i mean it's only risky if you uh, do like the majority of college students do myself included at the time when i was there right we use our credit cards as loans we use our credit cards to uh, pay for stuff that we don't have the money to pay for. So if you treat it that way, of course, it's going to be risky because there are going to be times when you're not able to pay your credit card bill. And that's going to ruin any kind of good credit score that you're trying to develop. As a matter of fact, I was talking to my son today about his credit score. And I'm like, you know, do, have you been using your secured card? And he's like, honestly, I haven't been using it. And I was like, well, what's your credit score? And he's like, I haven't checked because I really haven't been using my card like that. And I was like, yeah, I mean, the good news is your score is not going to be bad because you're not using the card and you don't owe anybody anything. So that's good. I said, one day you're going to need your credit and you're going to care when you have to get a card. And he's like, yeah, that might be sooner than later. I don't know. But um, but yeah, you definitely want to be responsible with how you're using those cards and don't get you know caught up with buying buying stuff, you know, like it's the holiday season. Easily you can take those credit cards and run out and buy a whole bunch of gadgets or gifts or whatever for yourself, for others. And say, oh, I'm going to pay it back next year or I'm going to pay it back in a month. And then, you know, something else happens in that month, you know, that you're going to be paying it back. Then you're going to find yourself in a tough situation because obviously, you know, you won't end up paying it back. So, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a problem. So you just got to be very mindful of that and make sure that you're conscious and you don't, you know, basically don't use the card unless you have the money to pay for it. 
I mean, that's that's the deal. Like if like if I'm going to buy something, um, I try to treat my credit card like it's a debit card. You know, if I don't have the money in the bank to pay for whatever I'm purchasing on my credit card right now, I don't do it. Um, uh, the only time I don't pay for something in full when I use my credit card is like when I purchase something with Apple because Apple allows me to get, you know, 24 months of paying with no interest. So that's literally the only time. And I never take the 24 months. You know, as a matter of fact, you know, I told myself, okay, I'm going to buy this and this and this and this and this. And like, I'm freaking out, right? Like, man, it's a couple of thousand dollars. Well, instead of spending a couple of thousand dollars right there, uh, you know, for the sake of paying something off right then and there, I take the pressure off of myself and I say, you know what? I'm just going to pay $400 a month or $500 a month for the next four or five months and pay that off instead of spending $2,500 right there, right? Even though it's still the same $2,500, it just makes me feel better that I'm not taking all of it right now in that moment and slamming it down. Now, of course, I can do that with Apple because if there's no interest, then like, you know, it's fine that I'm taking the next four or five months to pay off twenty five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it just kind of really depends. Uh, Larry, what's going on, my man? Larry says, because of your advice, you got my Discover card forty five hundred dollars in a year. Um, cool. Larry, I appreciate you for sharing that. And congratulations to you, man. And thanks for stopping by as well. Uh, Mr. Dino says, uh, good to see everyone. Glad you're doing well, Dwayne. Already, my brother. Of course, I'm doing well. Uh, Faud says you're absolutely right. Yeah, I am. Sometimes, man. I'm, you know, I'm. I'm very glad and grateful for age and experience. You know, I definitely. It's definitely cool to be where I am in life at this particular moment. As a matter of fact, today I'm talking to my son about um, my aunt's my aunt's son, who's my cousin, and the fact that you know, whatever's going on in his life. And uh, I was telling her, like, I was telling my aunt, like, yeah, I don't want my kids to do certain things by a certain age. Like, I don't want them having kids. You know, I was 24 when my son was born. 24 is too young. You're a baby. And my son's like, yeah, you know, I don't want to be an old parent. I'm like, what? What's an old parent, son? You know, and he's like, oh, like 33. And I'm like, 33 is not an old parent. Like, like, I don't like it's not like he's 20. So I get it. Right. But, like you know, I still want to run around and do stuff with him, you know, like when he's 15 and, you know, I don't want to be, you know, 40 something. I said, bro, chances are if, if you're, you know, if your 15 year old is if you're if your 15 year old is 15 and, you know, you're 38 or or you're, you know, 40 something like you're not really going to be able to keep up with them anyway. You know, I mean, that's just what it's going to be. So you you weren't about the wrong thing. Um uh, Cinnamon says Devin Bank of West. Okay, he's talking to Devin. Um, he's saying can go kick rock, kick rocks. I met their requirements and they didn't pay out three hundred. Um, that's crazy. But graze your account uh, credit limit increase automatically. Uh, let's see here. Um. K Diggs too, who's a channel member. Appreciate you, my brother. Thanks for stopping by. And thank you for taking time to, to uh, write up that email that you sent to me about uh, Roatan, I think it was. Um, appreciate you, man. That was really, really cool. I really appreciate you taking that time and sending me that email. And that was good information. He says, good evening, credit fam. Cinematic says, also for me personal, personally, these checking account bonuses are the best way to garden in between credit app sprees. Very, very smart, and I agree. Faud says, I use my cards very responsibly. Yeah, you do, of course. I mean, it's obvious because you're plugged into this community. If you're a college student and you're plugged into the community, uh, or if you're on YouTube checking out videos of this uh, nature, that clearly says a lot about you, and you're very smart. So definitely want to keep that, keep those good relationships going. You're going to be... Um, in a good place, you know, like five, seven, ten years from now, it's going to be really cool to see that, you know, you kept a good relationship and your credit score is going to be insanely high. Uh, I'm sure it's easily 700 right now just because you're doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, De uh, Devin says, I know it's mainly for build credit, but what are your thoughts on pedal card? Because I read reviews saying it's good for emergencies. Um, I have the pedal card um, and it's cool. I mean, I haven't used my car. I think I used that card twice. 
I think I got that card probably in 2019, maybe 2020. Uh, they gave me a credit limit increase. Um, I don't know what the limit increase, what the limit is right now. It may be like $4,500. Um, either 45 or 65 I don't remember what it is I'm about to log in right now uh, to my pedal account uh, eventually here doing my face ID uh, it's thinking and they're asking me to verify my income bro y'all need to okay not right now there we go get out of here oh yeah snap so my credit limit on that card is 5750 so they gave me a credit limit increase i think it was 70 i think it was 4500 when i opened the card so you can see uh where it says below the balance zero dollars available credit 5750 so it's definitely <laughs> definitely interesting but i think it's a good card i mean I, I like it i mean you know i haven't had a problem with it but once again i only use the card uh, maybe twice what do you mean when you say good for emergencies though um, Filewood says my score is currently 747. There we go. It says question to be sure um, a loan can't be taxed. Correct. Um, correct. Right. What exactly do you mean? Uh, but you are correct. Right. He's correct. Right. Um, as far as I know, uh, he says um, I follow finance both for this channel and your other channel oh man i appreciate that bro thank you so much i appreciate that um definitely you know i'm out here doing my little deal you know sharing my little my little uh two cents if you will and i'm glad that you know people are getting value from that uh definitely having a youtube channel and doing videos you know you can't really have an expectation other than you want to share whatever it is you're talking about and you know you hope that you know people are affected positively i mean at least that's how i look at it you know uh, and in return you know we get we get a couple of pennies you know some of us get you know more than a penny because you know you know let's face it some of us have a lot of views uh for videos and you know you get paid based based on views uh mostly based on views so you know youtube has been good to me and i, I appreciate the support uh, listen, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate. Slap them in the comment section. I'm going to be getting up on out of here because I have to wake up early in the morning in la mañana. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to set my alarm right now because I don't want to forget. Uh, and then I'm going to hit that gym. You know what I mean? Going to work it out. Oh, man, I don't know what time I want to wake up tomorrow. I'm like, mm, maybe... <sighs> Uh, anyway, gonna set the alarm. But uh, once again, please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I want you guys to, uh, you know, ask me. Um, Faud says, can you upload more on the other channel, like one video every two weeks? Question mark. Um, yeah. So the thing is, uh, I shared a little bit. Um, there has been and is still uh, quite a bit going on in my life, and I just haven't been as aggressive on YouTube um, and you know a, a lot of people look at YouTube as a business and, and it is like it it's very much a job um, like you guys don't necessarily see it as such but um, when you have people that are making videos daily right like yeah they're bringing you information and yeah they, they might be passionate about it but yeah also it's very much a job not necessarily their full-time job even though it is for some people but some people are doing videos just for the sake of making money and um, while that's great and everything um, the fact that I don't upload a lot of videos and I'm not on here all the time means that I'm making mm, a little bit of money and, and when I tell you a little bit of money I really mean a little bit of money uh, especially in regards to uh, this particular channel there's so many channels on YouTube now about credit and you like you know somebody will start a channel you know yesterday and they have more subscribers than me and they get more views than me and so um, so it's definitely interesting so yeah I definitely am looking forward to being more consistent with the videos you know but at this particular point I'm in survival mode with what's going on uh, personally in my life and my personal obligations and what I'm actually putting out here as far as creation um, I actually shot a video for this channel for this channel and I still haven't edited the video and I shot the video I don't know maybe two weeks ago and it's uploaded to, to the computer and I need to edit it and I still haven't edited it. 
and I just thought about it right now. Um, and so, yeah, so there's a lot going on. You know, I'm, I'm definitely doing what I can do to share. Uh, and the thing about YouTube, too, is the more that I upload, the more money that I make, the more subscribers I'm going to get, the more people I'll be exposed to, the more people that will be able to get information and maybe get some value as well. So it's certainly interesting. Like I have the motivation to upload all the time because, of course, I can help people. Uh, and of course, I can get paid more money and I can get more subscribers. But the beauty is after a certain point uh, in life, you truly get to a point and I'm not there yet. But you truly get to a point where you don't care what others think and you don't need others to make you feel good or validate you or who you are or who you should be or what you should be or how you should be. Right. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going I'm to I'm try to do my thing. I mean, at this point, you know, it's. It's it, trust me when I tell you it's tricky. Cinematic says, I think it's incredible how Chase is so lax about having multiple freedom cards and multiple ink cash cards. The best five times card, in my opinion, but you get three hundred dollars max per freedom and twelve fifty max per ink chase per year. Um, yeah, I mean, that definitely doesn't sound like a lot of money. Right. Um, for sure. Uh, Fawood says, but it's impressive that you currently have you currently get that much in dividends i can imagine uh 10 years from now yeah it that's the thing right when it comes to investing um we understand how it works and we and we get the concept you know and like that's why i do it that's why we do it right um it's going to be interesting to see how that will be uh in some time and it's going to be really incredible you know, really, really incredible. Now, of course, you're going to be I'm going to be shifting and doing different things and getting different accounts and, you know, selling this and buying this. You know, I mean, I still think about that like a lot. The more I look at my portfolio, the more I kind of labor over like, is this right? Especially right now, like my portfolio is down. My portfolio is down almost 100 G's. And like, obviously, that's not comforting. So so there's that, you know, and the average person, myself included, would take their money and run for the hills. I take my money now, like I'm gonna be down 100 G's. Like that's that's not good. I don't want to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and in the next five years, you know, like easily I could be up 100 G's, and then I'll feel real stupid by you know selling everything now and taking my money, and then you know in five years everything's gonna be up or can be up, and I'm gonna be like, I'm such a clown. Like I should have just left it alone. So, yeah, I mean, with the dividend payments, it's definitely going to be fun. And um, I definitely should have started that way when I started to invest. But I didn't. You live and you learn. And the good news is I share that information and people that watch the channel get to benefit from that. Uh, Cinemanda says, do you have the pedal one or pedal two card, by the way? I have the pedal two now. Um, when I applied, there was only one card. So it's automatically been upgraded to the two. Um, I have the pedal one at a measly 500 limit. Listen, man, don't worry about that right now. You know, you're going to be big balling. You already are big balling. I mean, you're young. You're doing the right thing. You're making the right decisions. You're moving forward. You're financially savvy. I mean, that's huge. You are way ahead of the curve, way ahead of the curve. So don't sweat that. Uh, once again, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask them. I'm going to stick around for the next minute. Make sure that I answer all you guys' questions. Um, and so if you have any questions, now is the time to do it. I see we have 18 viewers, 21 thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, once again, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I talked about the checking account with Amalgamated Bank, and I'm definitely interested in that. This is certainly uh, a sign-up bonus that I want. And also the sign-up offer that Cinemanis mentioned with American Express, I definitely want that as well. Um, let me, I'm about to put it in my notes because I need to do that. Amex Business Checking Account. Business Checking bonus um definitely want those membership reward points i so we got cinematic says speaking of dividends i think it's awesome that v stock or visa hiked their dividend um by a crazy 30 percent and their payout ratio is insanely low uh now that's pretty cool definitely did not know that and that's good i mean there's too many ways to make money when it comes to the stock market you know what i'm saying and once again the stock market 
is very much like a lot of things in life, right? Like the simple investment, the consistent investment, the the investing today and the fact that that's going to pay off tomorrow, right? Tomorrow being 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years down the road, right? Like that's incredible to me. Uh, Devin says, I mean, if I am tight or I have funds that I don't want to get mixed up with other credit cards and their rewards, I forget exactly the review on credit karma well, what the review on credit karma said okay uh, he's he's talking to somebody i don't know if he's talking to me or not um <laughs> cinnamon says my question is who hasn't smashed the like button um on the way out yeah i don't know i don't know but it's all good i mean it's always a pl pleasure and privilege to be here and serve to be able to turn the camera on and have somebody watch the video is incredible um, you know, I am very fortunate. I'm very fortunate to be in a position to share my experiences. And as uh, uh, because of that, others are able to benefit from that. I think that's incredible. And I'm glad that YouTube ex exists and this wonderful platform exists. And I'm out here sharing, sharing my stories. Anyway, I hope you guys have an incredible week. I have you have. I hope you have an incredible night. Happy holidays to you and your family. Of course, I'll be back again at some point with doing some more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an incredible, incredible week. All right. Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.